So firstly, we need to come and ask him. And secondly, we need to believe. Yes. You can ask till the cows come home, yeah. but until you believe, nothing, nothing will happen. You can ask till the cows come home, but until you believe, you can't receive a thing. Sure. That revelation's got to come. Yeah. He who believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his heart will now flow rivers of living water. There's a, there's a transition point. In the spirit, something is created. When we believe, we release something. And I started asking the Lord, how does that work? Now we know that when we come as a living sacrifice, God can do something through us. A living sacrifice doesn't die on the, on the barbecue, doesn't die on the altar, no. gets up. It's a living sacrifice. Yeah. So it can die to itself, but it gets up. You die to self, but you can get up, and, and you're useful now in the Maker's hands. Yeah. And, and I've learned through my life, through my own walk with God, I can only prove it through my own walk. You can only prove it through your own walk. You can only prove God through your walk, not through mine, not through anybody else's. You can only prove God through your own walk. At the end, you're going to stand on your own before God and answer to what you've done with the life that He's given you. Be filled. I tell you, there's a, there was a woman, just go to Elijah, I like Elisha. I, I want to give you some keys for this today. I just don't want to preach something and not give you something you can take. Um, um, two Kings 4 I was reading about Elisha and the widow's oil and how he raised the Shunammite's son we'll go to the Shunammite's son verse 8 2 Kings 4 verse 8 have a listen to this, there's one scripture it happened one day that Elisha went to Shunem when there was a notable woman and she persuaded him to eat some food. Okay, we're talking about hunger. And we're talking about thirst. She persuaded him to eat some food. So it was, as often as he passed by, he would turn in there to eat some food. And she said to her husband, Look now, I know that this is a holy man of God who passes us by regularly. Please let us make a small upper room on the wall and let's put a bed for him there and a table and a chair and a lampstand so it will be whenever he comes to us he can turn in there. And it happened one day that he came and he turned into the upper room and lay down there. I've got to tell you, this is a prophetic picture of the Holy Spirit coming to someone who's hungry. Someone who had food and could share their food and the Spirit of God would come. This Elijah represented the Spirit of God at the time. The physical representation of the Holy Spirit. Coming into that woman's house because she was hungry and she was willing to share her food. What are you going to do with what God gives you? What are you going to do when you cry out for revival? Are you going to sit home and just let it fester in your house? Or are you going to go out and use it? Yeah, yeah the gifts aren't to be bottled up. The gifts aren't to be a flashy show. Yeah. I mean, we can do flashy shows. I, mean, I know probably better than most that we can actually do stuff up there and lead your soul <coughs> rather than your spirit. But I've got to tell you, the gifts of God have been given to us to reveal Christ to the rest of the world. Yes. Amen. And to do something for them. Yeah. And to fulfill the needs that are out there. Yeah. But unless we hunger and thirst, we'll never see that. Yeah. We'll never see that. Because unless we hunger and thirst, we can't get to the level of believing that releases these things. Yeah. It doesn't just fall out of the sky. Yeah. There's something that God requires from us. And that is that we turn to Him and give thanks to Him. Amen. Yeah. I tell you, I... One of the keys I learned was giving thanks was a release. It was a key in the spirit. We don't realize what giving thanks does. I thank you for that song where you know we were thanking the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. You're releasing. You're you're putting this key in the lock yeah. mm -hmm. in the spirit realm mm -hmm. and opening the door. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you start thanking God, how do I know that? Psalm 50, verse 23. Yeah. What's it say? It says, "Give thanks, make thank offerings unto God. You glorify Him, and you pave the way to your salvation." Zozo. -so. 